for this uh, session, we're going to be doing the process of placing a ticket order uh, through the box office portal if a customer like calls in or if they're you know coming to the box office. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Uh, the first thing we get to is the dashboard, uh, which has the upcoming events, recent orders, as well as some uh, reporting for the sales. Um, so the easiest thing to do, uh, actually, no, let me back up here for a second. We have a list view. We also have a calendar view. So the list view shows, as you saw, about seven or eight shows, whereas the calendar view shows like everything, you know, map on the map, and you can go back and forth. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the list view for a second and say I want to select a show for the 14th, 1.30. Go ahead and click on that. So it gives a pop-up, and you can actually uh, put the customer's name in then and there. Um, but that can that is actually optional, and you can do that later. But I'm going to go ahead and put the customer's information in here. Sample customer. And then click Create Order. All right, so then it jumps you right to the uh, the seating chart for the show that you selected. Um, you can always change it up here if you pick the wrong one. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add a couple tickets to the show, to the to the order. I mean, and then I'm going to click close chart. So what that does is it closes the seating chart, takes me into the order screen itself. Um, you can see at the top there's a message that says this order has an outstanding ba balance of 68.96. Um, you can see the tickets here. If you need to make adjustments, you can do that as well. Um, add any promo codes in, uh, waive feeds if necessary. Um, you can add a number, if, add a text number if they want to receive the um, the information via text, their order information via text. Um, see that that'll pre-populate it. I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. Um, Referred by is a simple, um, gives you drop down options of what uh, of, of referral sources. Um, so I can do one of two things here to confirm the tickets. I can click this button, in which case it'll change it to, conf to confirm. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that. Let me do that here. Um, so now it's, it's no longer yellow. That means that the order is confirmed. However, there's still a, a payment necessary for it. Um, the other way is to uh, add a transaction. But what I'm going to do here, just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Tickets. And I'm going to get back opened up into the seating chart again. So these were the two tickets that I purchased. You can see that they're blue. Uh, I'm going to add a next one next to it, and that's yellow. So if I close the chart again, you can see one is yellow, and the two are um, just regular, you know, regular white and gray. So this time what I'm going to do, instead of clicking confirm pending tickets, I'm going to add a transaction. Um, now what that does is any transaction, it will automatically uh, change the status to, uh, to confirmed. Um, so what I'm going to do first um, is show you here like the scan card. So if, you're, if your computer is connected to like just a simple magnetic strip scanner, you can just scan the card and it'll pre-populate all the information into the um, into the credit card information. Here it says card is present. So if a card is present, the billing address information is not required, um, although it's it helps. Um, it's probably a good idea to have that uh, even just for marketing purposes down the road. Um, and then you click submit payment if you're doing a credit card transaction, which I won't be doing for this demo. Um, what I'm going to do over here is do a cash transaction. So I'm going to click cash. Um, as you can see, as I moved out of this field, it says click to scan. So that means if I wanted to scan something, I'd have to go back here and click it. So if I go out, it goes click. Okay. So, so if I click ca uh, selected cash, um, say they give me $100, I can enter $100 here, click that, and then it tells me how much change to give them, so $12.80. So I'm going to click Submit here, and it's going to do a cash transaction of $87.20. And then, as you can see, the, um, the order was 
already uh, was uh, or that it was changed from uh, pending to confirmed. So everything is good here. Um, then the last thing would be to send the email to the customer. So you can, um, if, if the customer email is correct over here, which this is just a made up email, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I can just click send and without putting something in, but if I wanted to send it to maybe like a different uh, email address, I can do that and I'll go ahead and click that. Okay, so the order email, I get the message the order email is sent. Or if I wanted to send the tickets uh, via text message, I could do that as well. Just put my uh, the cell phone number in there, click send, and it's good to go. Uh, if we wanted to print them right on site, uh, we could just click here print um, or view. Print will automatically, if your system is set up to have a printer connected to it, which uh, we can go into, that's that's a topic for another uh, tutorial, um, but it will actually just one click print and send it right to the, to the ticket printer. But I'm just gonna do view for now, just to show you what the tickets look like. As we can see, uh, we have the name, it's on, it's on sideways obviously, but uh, the name of the show, time, adult, order number, customer, and then a QR code, which can be scanned at the gate um, using our app. And then in big letters, the uh, section and row information of where the seat. So it's very easy to see what seat uh, and section you're looking for. Um, and that is that is it. And then we have down here, we have the, um, the order history information. So office order placed says who it's done by uh, one ticket added. Uh, just refresh up here. And we should have the order email sent. Um, that was the last thing that was done. Um, so if I click on that, that shows what the actual content of the email is. Um, so you can see from the box office, you have an audit history of the order. So if somebody adds tickets or removes tickets, let me go ahead and remove. Okay. Uh, we have here, it says one ticket deleted down here. So that is the order process.